We are so excited to announce Widgetsmith 2.0. This is a major update to the way you set up your widgets. Rather than requiring you to set up each of your widgets individually, Widgetsmith now comes with a wide variety of pre-built aesthetics included in the app. Of course, you can still customize them as you prefer, but you now have a great starting point from which to begin. I want to walk you through the new process of setting up your widget styles, and you'll see how easy it is. First, you open the Widgetsmith app and then select the existing widget you want to change. Or you can press Add Widget in order to add a new one, but I'm just going to edit this clock. So you saw that beautiful fall photo that I had in the background, so I want to change my widgets to have a fall feel as well. So I go into press the default, and then now you'll see this new aesthetic or theme tile that provides a whole range of different themes to choose from. You'll notice that some of them are locked, which, is which means that they're only available to premium subscribers. It's really easy to become a premium subscriber. You just go into the settings area in Widget Smith app. So because I'm not a subscriber right now and I'm looking for a theme that uh, matches my fall, this one sounds good. Let's choose fall. So I can customize it further right here by pressing customize theme. I think that instead of the New York font, I'm going to update to Futura so that it just has a little bit of a different feel. And then rather than having it be that, that green color, I'm going to change the tint color, which will change the font on my widget. So right now it's a very dark green. So I think I'm going to make that even darker. Whoops. By going up here, I'm just going to play around with it until I get a color that I like. I'm going to make sure to push that plus button so that I can keep that nice dark color for the future. Something that we've added in Widgetsmith 2.0 is this advanced color chooser. So you guys have been asking for this and Dave has delivered. Um, there's the red, green, and blue slidey bars that we could do in order to um, pick your customized color. Or if you have a hex value of a color that you love, you can just add it right there. So happy to be able to give so many of you that feature that you've been asking for. <laughs> now that I have the tint color that I want, I am happy with the background color. The border color, I'm thinking maybe I'll change it to, hmm, let's try black and just see what happens. Because in artwork, the th really cool thing that we've added in Widgetsmith 2.0 is that there's also borders that you could add um, that have different kind of styles or flavors to them. Another thing I wanted to mention was that we've been working with top end designers to add these awesome themes uh, as part of artwork as well. So you'll see we have leaves, we have pumpkins for the fall, and we're working with them to add even more uh, in the coming weeks and months. So keep checking that area to see what's new. I'm happy with no border, so I'll go back to border color and say no for now. Once you have the style you want, you hit save and you'll get an option to apply this to this widget only or to update the theme everywhere. I'm going to press update theme everywhere so that anytime I, see, I select the fall aesthetic, this is my look, that nice dark green that pops. So I'll save it here and then I'm going to go to my other widgets and apply fall to see, and you'll see how easy it is to update the aesthetic across all of your different widgets. Then I'll just apply it to this one as well. The themes are all alphabetized, so that will help you to find the specific theme that you're looking for. Once I've got them all, I'm going to save them. Then let's go to the home screen to see how the feeling has changed. Look at that. Nice orangey fall. What a streamlined aesthetic. We hope you enjoy this new update, and again, thanks so much for your support of Widgetsmith.